Hiya, hiya. This is Chef Chacha Dave. Uh, tonight I'm going to be making homemade dog food for my dog, Rachel. Uh, I made a turkey dinner for her once before, uh, but this is just for her. And I'm going to do it uh, in this uh, as pressure cooker, so I don't have to worry about watching it. It's a Cook Essentials. It's a good product. I really enjoy it. And how, what I do is I'm starting with this roast beef. This is bottom round, actually chuck. And what I'm going to do is take the strings off, okay, and uh, they tie it up because it's in pieces. And then I'm going to just, I'm going to brown this a little bit. This uh, pressure cooker, it's electric. Uh, it has a feature to do that. All right, so I already have it on. No salt, no anything, no oil in this, all right? And I'm going to throw it in here. And then here it go. Okay. And also, she's going to have this beef, and she's going to have chicken livers. But I put the chicken livers in after. Um, is a sweet potato. I just cut that sweet potato in half. That's going to go in skin and all. I've already washed these. I'm going to just chop those carrots. Skin is still on there, but they've been washed. And then we have celery. And I'm going to actually chop the celery in smaller pieces. Uh, because it's stringy. Then spinach, she can, they can have zucchini. And over here I'm going to put in some garbanzo beans, some oatmeal, some brown rice, and then some regular green peas. Sometimes I give her corn, sometimes I give her, um, you know, whole wheat pasta, a little bit. Uh, but she's very particular. And then after this is all brown, okay, we'll come back and I'll start putting this in the pressure cooker. I am back. We just filmed the whole segment and the camera was not plugged in. So now I have to try to do that all over again. No, I'm just kidding. We caught it beforehand. Now over here, this is what we want. See how this is nice and brown? Uh, and now the next thing I'm going to do is throw in chicken livers. This is going to be uh, chicken livers and beef. She likes to have those two flavors together, you know. When I say things like that, people say, oh, she's just a dog. Let me tell you, she knows. And I don't put any salt in, but a little bit at the end, I may throw a little salt in because she just loves to have that. I've eaten this. I taste her food to make sure it's good. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to throw in the carrots. We're going to throw in everything all together. Okay? The carrots will all be mashed down. I'm going to throw in the sweet potatoes, the celery. This really looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? Look at how beautiful that is with the colors. She doesn't know. By the time I finish this, it's all mashed and uh, the, the beef is all shredded. Okay, now everything goes in at the same time. Now I'm going to put in the garbanzo beans. They're hard. They We'll cook down. I put in some brown rice also. Uh, white rice is not necessarily, they can have white rice, but brown rice is so much better for your pet. Oatmeal and some green peas. They're frozen. She loves green peas. I feed them to her separately on a fork. She's quite good with that. And two cups of water goes in, and I'll see where it comes up inside here. I think I'm going to put a little bit more. You can see the water is about up to here. This will cook down a little. Okay, so now this goes on the top. All right, it has to be locked. It's on pressure. Okay, now I've set it for the pressure cooker at 72 minutes on high. Okay, and everything is in there, and in 72 minutes, it should be totally that you set it, and forget it. Oh no, that's Ram Popil, that rotisserie thing that they had, but they hired the people in the audience to go set it, and forget it. They don't even pay those people. At any rate, and I'll be back and show you what this looks like when we get it down to the point of putting it in the bowl and getting it ready for her. All right, um, I'm cutting this meat. Actually, I waited for as long as I could. I don't know where you all were. 
so I actually started this before you got here. I took the meat out of the pressure cooker. Some of it's already chopped in here. This is the fluid that's in the pressure cooker with the spinach and the uh, garbanzo beans and the chicken livers are there too, carrots, peas. So this I'm just loosely chopping and then I'm going to rip the rest apart. All right, this is not as, uh, it's like a pot roast actually, at this point it was a roast beef. Uh, what I do with this is that I make her different styles. Sometimes I mash it down like canned dog food, which she tends to enjoy that as well, but she also likes chunks, uh, but not big. She just will not eat those. So then I take this meat and I just squeeze it between my fingers like this. I rip all the sinews out. Okay, and I'm going to do this very quickly. And actually, when I do the chicken and things like that, I take the cartilage off of the bone and put that in there as well uh, because that's good for her. All right, now I mash this all up. <laughs> it's, it's, um, but at any rate, she's going to love this. And the chicken livers, I mash a little bit, but she likes to see. Each dog has their own personality. You learn to see what they eat, what they don't eat. First of all, she's going to lick this broth for about five minutes until it's all nice and uh, dry, and then she's going to start eating it. She eats the garbanzo beans one at a time. She's a strange dog. Spoon this up into her bowl. She's not going to get this right now, but I just want to show you what it looks like. Okay, and what I do, she's only about 60 pounds, and she eats twice a day, so and she eats dry food also, but I give her about that much, and I cheat it a little, and I put a little cheddar cheese on top, because she loves that, and I put a little bit of salt in here, uh, not too much, but she seems to love that, and she's going to have this tomorrow. And, oh, what am I doing? It's a dog. The dog, frankly, she doesn't care about the lettuce, I'm sure, but she's going to love this. Okay? So you can do this with chicken and turkey, and they shouldn't have too much liver. That's why I only put one pound of uh, chicken livers in here, and the rest is beef. And you have to, you know, from day to day, I put this in the freezer. I don't let it go more than two or three days in the refrigerator. Then I put it in bags in the freezer. I weigh it out for each one of her portions, thaw it out in the microwave, just warm it room temperature, and then she's good to go. Haven't purchased for over a year now any uh, dog food from the store. The only thing I give her is dried uh, salmon food, you know, the dried dog food. There's salmon, they have chicken. She seems to have like that. But at any rate, take good care of your dog. I love my dog.